Hello, Obophiles! Welcome to another Technique Tuesday in which we learn how to play better technique on a Tuesday. Today, we're learning three tonguing exercises that will help you increase the speed of your single tongue, even to breakneck tempos like quarter note equals 155, 16 notes at the tempo are no problem once you master these three exercises. So, let's get into it. Okay, so when you master these three exercises for your single tongue, you will be able to play not only at 138, but all the way to 155. Let's try the demonstration right now. <laughs> well, I landed on 158, so we're gonna try that one. If you don't believe me, check out the dimension of at home. 158 to the click. 16 notes, here we go. Oh, got some hair in there. Okay, so the single tongue, not an issue at these breakneck tempos. You can do it as long as you follow these three techniques. Let's get into it. So exercise number one is to work on the long tone with, with bursts of tongue. So the important thing to remember is that in order to tongue fast, you have to use 90% air and 10% tongue. And the faster you go, the more to the air that ratio goes. So if I'm going to tongue at 155 or whatever, I need to use maybe 95% air and 5% tongue, or maybe 99% air and 1% tongue. The faster you go, the more air you need, not the more tongue you need. So let's practice the long tone. At the end of it, we're going to do a burst of articulation. It'll sound like this. You know, I like to do one and then kind of bounce off that one. Practicing long tones this way with the tail of articulation allows you to throw the tongue onto the air and feel what it's like to have the tongue bounce off, the tip of the tongue to the tip of the reed. Exercise number two is kind of the opposite. We're gonna start with the tongue on the reed, we're gonna build up a lot of pressure, and then you're gonna let go of the tongue and feel the recoil, the bounce of the tongue onto the reed. And again, it's the tip of the tongue to the tip of the reed, the tongue arches back into the mouth, into the throat, really, like a cobra, ready to strike. And it strikes and then recoils like a reflex. So again, I'm starting with the tongue on the reed. I build up the pressure. I release the tongue and then bounce back. Now, you can practice this on any note. I like to practice it on D because it's a nice, you know resistant note on the oboe, but you can practice it on any note. Let's do it once on a A. You might need to work up to this. So here's how you work up to it. First, you just do two in a row. When two is in a row is easy, work up to three. When three is easy, go to four, and so on and so on until you're able to do all eight or the burst as far as you can go. Now, for the third exercise, and I think this is the real one, when people start to do this, they really get a handle on their single tongue, and they're able to go really fast. And there's going to be a bonus one at the end, because I forgot there's actually four. But the third one is actually just using your reed, not using the oboe at all. You put your metronome on a tempo that you know you can single tongue, most people can single tongue at 80, so let's put it on 80. About there is 80 clicks to the minute, I guess. 80 beats per minute. Ba 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 ba. Ba 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 ba. So you got that subdivision in your head? We're gonna tongue the following pattern. Just repeat after me. All right, hopefully you're able to follow that. I'll have the notation below so you can follow it with your eyes as well. And when that's easy, you can put all of the rhythms together. So it'll sound like this. You can play with me or play after me. Just pause the video when I'm done. 
so you can copy it. Alright, so when you're practicing that exercise, notice that the eighth notes are long. You blow through the eighth notes, and in fact, you blow through the whole thing. The tongue doesn't stop the air. No, 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 no. The tongue merely interrupts the air, and that's the key to fast tonguing. Now, let's say you've done all that, and you're ready to put that on the instrument. You're able to do all those articulation patterns and exercises. You want to know how to change notes while you articulate. Well, start with the easy thing, just two notes. When that's easy, let's go to three notes. And then four notes. Or five notes even, I guess. Point is that you need to be creative in coming up with these exercises. Notice that all the notes are long at this tempo. I don't practice single tonguing with short notes because when I go fast, it's gonna sound short no matter what. I'm just blowing past all the notes and the tongue merely interrupts them. Let's try the same exercises at a fast tempo. Here we are, here we are at 142 beats per minute. We're gonna do two notes, then three, then four, then five, and six, maybe, I don't know. Uh, let's change the key. That was, that was a bad choice, C&D is kind of hard, but we're going to do it. <laughs> and then five notes. Oh. Woo! Okay, so... Just make up your own exercises. You can use mine. I'll have the notation on the bottom. Follow along with the video and practice at different tempos. You can change the speed on the player, so make sure you're taking advantage of that. If this is helpful for you, let's turn that off. I hope you get a lot out of these Technique Tuesday videos. People seem to enjoy them and get better at the technique at the same time. If you want to get a fast single tongue, don't forget to subscribe because I'm going to have more single tonguing exercises because there's plenty more to learn when it comes to single tonguing, so that you too can play those breakneck speeds with your single tongue. Now at a certain point, you're gonna have to learn how to double tongue, and that'll be another Technique Tuesday video. So make sure you subscribe, hit the like button, and share it with somebody else so they can learn some good technique too. Thanks so much for watching, and as always, when in doubt, play beautifully.